Hello everybody, this video may contain copyrighted images being used underneath the Fair Use Act for educational purposes. I'm back. You know, I got a strike two for uh, my previous um, part two on this uh, Jaren and IPS live stream from the other day. You know, and I think uh, Daniel Pratt did a great job giving uh, Jaren a new one. So I'm going to touch on a few things I think that need to be brought out. And they need to be discussed in the, in the Flat Earth community. And they need to be shared with the other channels. Because it just goes to show you the links. Jaren and these shills, these Cointel Pro shills, will go to cover their asses up. It's going to be shocking what Jaren says. And it's going to 100% expose Jaren. So, let's get started. Uh, my previous video, you know, I played this clip here, um, but I'm going to replay it. IPS is nailing down a date. Let's listen. But whatever the case is, um, I'm nailing down a date. I'm nailing down a date. It's, it's the September the 8th, which is the anniversary of some jump that Evil Knievel did or something. And so you can expect that between now and the 8th, the usual suspects are going to be throwing daily hissy fits, but they don't have anything to lose. Remember, they don't have anything to lose. Nobody does. Nobody does. And you could say that maybe some, maybe I have something to lose because I'm investing in this. Uh, I'm sorry, but what am I losing here? You know, mm -hmm. taking a little bit of a, I, I can look at the good in everything. And in this, I can see quite a bit of good. First of all, tell me which other chat room you know of that has brought about $8,000 in financing for any project or more than $10,000 if you count the billboards, you count the art show, count all this stuff. What other chat room have you been a part of that has raised more than 10K in a few months? Anybody? Anyone? Because I can't think of any. Do you see the audacity of, of IPS? He raised $10,000, okay? Let's say he spent at the most two or three thousand dollars on the art show and and the uh, and the uh, billboard, and it's still a question if the billboard is real because if you go to Google Maps and look up that billboard, it's not a digital billboard. But I will give you this: I think the the images from were from 2014. So. If they didn't put a digital billboard at that site recently, then it is a fraud. And I got some more digging to do on that, and I should have a video out this week if if I find out uh, there's uh, foul play there. But yes, if you go to Google Maps and look up Warfield Street in Pennsylvania, and you look at the billboard that they say was the Flat Earth billboard, the the 2014 images, or maybe it was 2012, whatever. Don't hold me exactly to their date. They're old images, so they could have put up a digital billboard, but there's a chance they didn't either. But the audacity of this clown to sit here and say he's special because he raked in $10,000, spent two or three, and pocketed seven or eight. And that's exactly what happened. So let's get going here. You all heard it before. I said it in my previous video. IPS has said many of times over and over and over again, FEMA is funded. FEMA camp is funded. You know, and in this video, Jaron's lying to IPS. IPS is lying to Jaron. And they both know it. And they're all lying to us. Acting like we don't know it. Well, they're buffoons if they don't th if they think we believe this shit. Anybody with eyes can see Jaren's pulling out all the bullshit to defend IPS in this video, as you will see. But let's hear from IPS himself about the FEMA being funded. Very good point about me violating my own rules, and uh, no, I mean honestly. I have strayed, and it got worse and worse because um, I guess I took the bait in a lot of ways. And uh, not only did I take the bait, but 
I became such a big target that it's been a troll feast for a while. And so now I'm at the point where um, I realize that the only way I can really keep myself from even seeing that stuff or being aware of it is find the next thing to focus on. Because they caught me in a period between, you know, after the art show, they caught me in a, in a kind of a period where nothing was really going on, nothing huge. And so now we have this uh, film festival scheduled for late October. Uh, that, the funding's already secured, that's going to happen. That's my new focus, and uh, nothing else can... I mean, I'll folk, I, I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to have the luxury to even bother with what the trolls are talking about. There you heard it from him, his mouth himself. FEMA camp is funded. But a day after this video, he pulled this video down a few hours after he made it with Jaron. But a few after hours after he pulled this down, he started a new fundraiser. And this fundraiser, let me extend the screen here for you so you could see it. This fundraiser is set up by Tim Osmond, and it's for FEMA Camp October 2017. So we got more lies and deception from IPS. Right there, folks. So let's keep on going here. Let me bring back down my screen size here. Let's keep on going here. We got more to cover. A lot more to cover. Oh, I want to point out that uh, that penguin on the chopping block on the sacrifice table. He was uh, sacrificed for naysaying. There's uh, new rules in IPS's room. Three new rules. No money thumping, meaning IPS doesn't see money as the root of all evil. He thinks it's the greatest thing man ever invented. There is no banner thumping. <laughs> That's right. And guess what? There is no rocket thumping allowed in his room. And he's been going after people that mention any of those three. Just absurd. So let's keep on going here. Because this is where Jaron exposes himself for the agent he is. And make no mistake of it. He is controlled opposition. Part of the gang here, as you see in the photo. Now let's listen to this and pay close attention. Let me uh, give you some background on this too for those that don't know. For those that don't know, go see my videos called A New Identity, Part 1 and 2. IPS sent me some very threatening, nasty, disgusting MP3 files to my email. So I posted them online. And when I say this is all scripted, it's scripted because they're doing damage control. They talked about how they can, uh, you know, make this all look uh, legit here. But let's listen to Jaron and IPS here. I don't know if you know this, but did you know that um, uh, the reason a guy put out a video of what he says is an MP4 that you sent, or an MP3 or something that you sent him? Now, Jaron's sitting here claiming he uh, he only been to my channel once to see my Jaron versus uh, Flat Earth Reset video, and he's never been back. But he knows about these videos I posted that day, and this is the same day they did their damage control video here. And this was part of the reason why they had to do it. They had to do this damage control because of the audio files IPS sent me and because the rocket launch didn't go off. That's the whole reason for this three-hour live stream they did. So let's continue to listen here. Or you're just... You know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let me explain that really quick. But that, but that is kind of going back to what you're... That is kind of falling down that, that path again. You know, yeah. That's the way it is. Yeah, I'll tell you what that one is about, because, uh, yeah, somebody had gone behind my back, they caused some trouble, and I lost 2500 bucks as a result of this uh, interaction, and I was like, all right, this is really getting to me, so I'm going to do something with this, and what I did was I started writing a book called Letters to My Stalker, but now I changed the title to Co-Misery, because it's based on the book Misery. But it's a uh, stream of consciousness 
uh, maybe a third person narrative, but anyway, it's a story I'm writing about an author. Uh, it's about an author who um, is being stalked by a fan who's way too obsessed. And as he um, starts dealing with the psychological effects of being the target of um, a creepy stalker, he stalks back. And the thing he does is, um, during this process, is he loses himself. He becomes the monster that he was pursuing. And so I'm making this book, and what I'm doing is I was doing it as an audio book. And maybe this is one of my tactics that's probably a little, um, I don't know, some people... Audiobook? Well, I sent, here's what I did. I took several um, excerpts from the audiobook and I emailed it to my worst critics. And uh, I, he, he only emailed it to me, not the worst, worst critics. And let me give you some background on this because there's some very important things in the MP3 file. He mentions what I do, like that, that I built computers for 25 years, and he mentions the color of my truck. So this isn't about an audiobook. Like he claims. I did so for two reasons. One, I just wanted to get some feedback. Because a lot of times in my writing, I'll publish it anonymously just to see what people think. Because if people know you, they're going to be nice to you. And I don't want people wearing kid gloves when they criticize my work. And two, I knew these idiots would upload it onto YouTube. And since it's copyrighted, I could strike them. So there are two accounts well, that's that... That's kind of what I was thinking. Because I, it didn't seem like... I, don't know, I think of you as generally a smart person. I'm like, what the hell? Why would he make that MP3 and then send it to him? Of course he knows it's going to be put up. So you did that on purpose then? Oh, yeah. He uploaded from uh, Chapter 9. And anyway, I didn't... Like, when I, when I, put, it, when I put it down, um, when I sent him the stuff, I was like, I knew he was going to do this, but part of it was these were real emotions I was having, but I'm filtering it through this, this artistic outlet, which is an audiobook. And, uh, and which is totally, absolutely, positively feeding trolls, right? That is, however, I knew that this would give me a way to take down this channel, which is kind of a low, it's kind of a, a sneaky trick, but the fact is, um, I've, I've already put down multiple copyright strikes on the people who uploaded from my audiobook, and it was uncharacteristic. That's not how I talk, that's not how I am. But that's because it's a character. Yeah, but I didn't know if you had just gone off the deep end or what, but um, it makes sense what you're saying. But I just think. Did you hear, Jaron? All this makes sense what he's saying. And that just shows you the extent these guys will to do or will will go to defend each other and their fuckery and their lies and their deceptions and their death threats. This exposes Jaron beyond any doubt. That he is a fraud. He's a shill. He's controlled opposition. Doing damage control. And this was so scripted. Right from the get go. So let's keep on going here. And they want to justify this. Rocket stuff. By saying so what. NASA steals trillions. So what if this is a fraud? Let's listen to this. So. We're supposed to believe that these guys care about your five dollars or ten dollars. Not yours. I'm talking about the people who donate. Yeah. It's just not. It's not what they care about. It's because they hate you for whatever reason. And again, people can have their own opinion. Whatever. I think everyone do their opinion. So if Dan Pratt hates you, more power to him. He has every right to do that. Um, but it doesn't mean you go around and start screaming that Mad Mike's a fraud. And that anybody that touches this, I backed it because here's a guy who's a daredevil who's going to write you know, research fighters on the side of a rocket and launch it. And there's going to be some media fanfare because... He's not a daredevil and there is not going to be any media there, Jaron. Quit lying. You're lying, Jaron. He's breaking the record. That's how I think that industry works. I know I'm not a daredevil. I wouldn't know how it works. But again, I'll learn my lesson if it happens and nothing happens, but there's no media there and we never hear about it, then oh well, I donated five bucks. So I mean that's what I think people are missing is that it doesn't need to be something that does somebody needs to make a video about it every day for a month. What? What what is what is going on? Is this is this If IPS is committing fraud against the flat earth community, so what? Why make videos about it? Why? This is Jaron here saying this shit, people. It's time to wake up. 
your ticket to, are you going to go right off into the sunset, go live in Barcelona with, uh, you know, 10 girls and, and live on a yacht? I really doubt that's going to happen over 7,000 bucks for this rocket launch. It just makes no sense to me where these people think that they've uncovered this deception where this is what's going on. You and my Matt Mike have just devised some dastardly plan to steal $7,000. There's people stealing trillions. Trillions. Darren, I'll, I'll say it again. Most people-to-people -people fraud, not people-to-business, people-to-people, is under $10,000. And it don't matter if he defrauded $500. It's still fraud. And he shouldn't be doing this to fellow flat earthers, and you shouldn't be defending it neither. I don't know where, who you think you are, Jaron. Trillions. NASA is still NASA is still in trillions. So why should you care if IPS still seven thousand dollars? That's what Jaron is saying. For a month and a half about this let me back that up for you since I let me back this up for you since I interrupted. What is what is going? Is this, is this your ticket to? Are you going to go right off into the sunset? Go live in Barcelona with uh, you know, ten girls and, and live on a yacht. I really doubt that's going to happen over seven thousand bucks for this rocket launch. It just makes no sense to me where these people think that they've uncovered this deception. Where this is what's going on. That you and my Matt Mike have just devised some dastardly plan to steal seven thousand dollars. There's people stealing trillions from you. trillions. Trillions. You've got. You know, Dan Pratt talking for a month and a half about this deception of all deceptions to where Mad Mike is stealing money or something. I mean, it's just it's crazy to me. And, well, and it's just crazy, isn't it, folks? Just a crazy idea to think somebody would want to steal that $7,000. Because it's, you know, $7,000 is just a waste of time. You know, it's not six months of a mortgage or six months of rent. It's just $7,000. Utter nonsense. Let's keep on going here. We've got two more. Two more clips. In this clip, and this, uh, let me explain this, uh, this meme here to you. The guy that makes memes for me, and he makes them for free. He doesn't charge, and he wants you guys to use these memes. So feel free to screen capture them and and uh, or or. You know, print screen them and, and get a copy of it and use it in your videos. He wants you to. But I told him, I says, hey, man, you know, Jaron's talking about this $150,000 and giving it, a, giving it to a flat earther every month. And, you know, so I need something to do with clowns and $150,000. And he came up with this. Fucking act, absolutely brilliant. I want to say good job to him. But anyways, let's keep going here because... Jaron says nothing IPS does is fake. In other words, well, I didn't call the art show fake. I just called it fucking ignorant because it was nothing more than a meet and greet and a chance to sell art to the same people who paid for all of it. <laughs> That's what it was. So let's listen to Jaron here say nothing IPS does is fake. Not the plane banner, not this shit with Mad Mike. He doesn't lie. He's a great, honest person. Let's listen to Jaron. But people are saying this launch would never happen. Just like they said that you stole money from the, the, the art festival that was fake. Just like the, everything that you've done, they've said it's been fake. So, but nothing has ever turned out to be fake or have cost anybody any money. And this, <laughs> so until that happens, that's what I've said about Patricia. Come talk to me when some Utter bullshit. Just... Playing outright damage control. Nothing IPS does is fake, people. Jaron's going to have to do a lot of explaining on this one, especially if this video uh, gets around like I suspect it will. So you make sure you all share it. Hit the share button, like, repost it on your channel. Do whatever you like. Get this information about out about Jaron and what kind of person he really is. Because everything 
everybody said bad about him is true. In fact, he tries to tell you he's the pillar of truth and honesty. And we're all liars. Everything we say about him and IPS and Patrick and Mark and ODD and Bob and all the others are all lies. That's what Jaron says. So anyways, Jaron, he's mentioned this on uh, Globebusters last show Sunday. If you guys want to listen to it, I think it's a 332 mark. He brings up the, the suggestion about giving a flat earther $150,000. And this is absurd. We can't even get accountability for billboards, banners, uh, uh, rocket launches, and so on and so forth. I've always said from the get-go, if you're going to post for uh, money on banner on GoFundMe, then post the prices, post the company's price chart, and then when you get done funding it, post the receipt. And have some accountability here. Because Jaron's got to be high on something if he thinks people are going to give the flat earth, somebody in the flat earth community, and that somebody is like, regardless of what Jaron says here, is Jaron, Bob, or Mark. That's probably the top three people that would get this money. And let's say Bob got the $150,000 a month. Jaron will say, hey, Bob, I need a five grand for this experiment. I got a theory here, and I want to test it out. You know, I need five grand this month. And that's exactly what will happen. They'll just divide this up between the monks themselves and then send up balloons with fish-eyed lenses and call that flat earth research. Let's listen. You know, those are the kind of things that people don't realize that are really helpful. And, like the $5, which I know is, is a pipe dream, but I'm just saying, that, you know, 75,000 subscribers, and if half those people gave just $5 a month, which and nobody would even miss $5 a month, that's $175,000. People gave just $5 a month, which and nobody would even miss $5,000. Uh, you know, those are the kind of things that people don't realize that are really helpful. And, like the $5, which I know is, is a pipe dream, but I'm just saying, that, you know, 75,000 subscribers, and if half of those people gave just $5 a month, which and nobody would even miss $5 a month, that's $175,000. Not saying to give it to me, choose any freaking flat earther that you want. Let's put $175,000 in somebody's hand and see what they can do over the course of a month. I'll tell you, it's a hell of a lot more than any of us are doing now, because we don't have the funding to... And there you have it, folks. That's what all this is about. This is all about putting it, turning this into a money-making industry. Understand, flat earth, ball earth, it'll always be a belief. Like everything else in life. Like religion, like school, do you believe in college or you don't? So on and so forth. I can sit here all day and give you beliefs. We live a life of beliefs. And that's all the flat earth community will be. A belief. A money-making belief. That's all the ball earth will be. A money-making belief. I don't think NASA cares if there's flat earthers around there because they will always be the minority in this belief system we live in. Have a good day, everybody.